Hello doctors, welcome back to Jeff Studies Met Fun. I'm Dr. Ishwarya Mukkal and this is your video for anesthesia much more images. Let us run to our first topic that is oxygen flow device or oxygen delivery devices. The first one is nasal cannula. You might have seen a nasal cannula in person or in movies. It is like a small pipe which has uh, two specific such extensions to put in your nostrils, one in each. It is a low flow oxygen device, uh, oxygen delivery device with a flow rate of 2 to 6 liters per minute. It's important to remember all the flow rates of all these oxygen delivery devices. They might ask it in the exam. Simple Hudson mask. A simple Hudson mask has a flow rate of 6 to 8 liters per minute. An oxygen uh, mask with the reservoir bag. So this one is important. It is anticipated to come into your exam. It can be a non-breathing or partial rebreathing bag. And it has a range of flow rate for of 6 to 10 liters per minute. Venturi mask. Venturi mask is basically uh, what they ask in the exam. They ask the wall colors. They ask the wall colors and uh, it has a total range of 2 to 12 liters per minute. Amber bag. Amber bag is used for bag and mask ventilation. We all know what a laryngoscope is. Laryngoscope is used to basically uh, insert an ET tube that is an endotracheal tube that is used for intubation of a patient. So you have to remember that the Macintosh blades are curved and they are used in an adult. Whereas the Miller blades are straight and they are used in children. Laryngeal, laryngeal mask airways. So these are uh, the different kinds of laryngeal mask airways. The first one is an LMA classic. It is in, it is an original reusable first generation airway that is uh, that is used in almost all the patients. However, there are some variations that give uh, different kind of advantages in different situations. Uh, out of them, the first one is LMA Pro Seal. So LMA Pro Seal is reusable. It is reusable. Please remind uh, remember that it is a second generation airway offering. Uh, phys offering physicians the peace of mind of uh, gastric access, high seal pressure and patient's comfort as well. Now what is LMA Supreme? LMA Supreme is a single use, second generation airway with gastric access and an innovative second seal delivering a new standard of patient care. So you have to remember that um, LMA Classic is reusable. Pro Seal is also reusable. LMA Supreme is single use. And the last one, LMA Guardian. LMA Guardian is a sil silicone device with gastric access and cuff pilot wall for procedures where, where use of a second generation de device is recommended. The next one is uh, different kinds of uh, airway devices. The first one is an ET tube, endotracheal tube. So this is an endotracheal tube. You have to remember how it looks like. It has a cuff inflation uh, wire with a pilot balloon. It has an inflated cuff to make sure that the um, to make sure that the tube is in place. And it has a connector to oxygen source. And it has a spring loaded cuff in inflation wall. So. That's it for the endotracheal tube. There is a double lumen endotracheal tube as well. It is used in thoracoscopic surgeries. Please remember it looks exactly like the endotracheal tube or, but it has two of each. Like it has this uh, what looks like oxygen source. It has two of them. It also has two uh, cuff inflation uh, cuff inflation lines. So you have to remember it's a double lumen endotracheal tube. Goodell's airway. Goodell's airway looks like this and it depends on the size, what uh, the millimeters of the um, diameter of the tube. Uh, it all depends on the different types of colors. They never usually ask the colors and what's the diameter related to that color. You just have to remember what a Goodell's airway looks like. Tracheostomy. Now tracheost uh, these are some simple images featuring tracheostomy, cricothyroidotomy. So you have to remember that in tracheostomy, uh, they will directly, they will mostly not ask these questions, such simple questions. Just you just have to remember it, how it looks like for your own information. Malampatti score. Now this is a very important image that they usually ask in the exam. 
so most of the times they will ask you what kind of uh, what kind of score this is what kind of classification this is but since the exams have upped their uh, they have really upped their standard of asking questions you might need to remember what class of malampatti square this is so the first one is class one where you can see uh, where you can visualize completely the soft palette then the second one is of course class two where is where there is a visualization up till the uvula the third one is visualization of only the base of the uh, uvula and the fourth one is soft palette is not visible at all so these are basically the different kinds of uh, mouth opening uh, visualizations that you can see in uh, malampatti classification central venous axis cath catheter you have to remember where the catheter is and the next one is swan's cans catheter it looks like multiple wires multiple different colored wires but mostly the the main wire is yellow so it is your swan swan guns catheter they don't ask much theory questions about it they will only ask you to identify it vaporizers the different vaporizers used in an anesthesia setup in the anesthesia machine yellow color is for sevoflurane purple is for isoflurane Red is for halothane and blue is for desflurane. You have to remember this. Flexometallic uh, endotracheal tube, which is an armored endotracheal tube, and it is kink resistant because most of it, most of the composition is of metal. Maple sun circuits. Most of these maple sun circuits are uh, mostly not asked in the exam, but you should just know it for. Uh, they have been asking it but recently they have stopped asking it so you should just remember how a mapleson and which mapleson circuit looks like what gas cylinder colors for identification you have to uh, remember this one especially the oxygen it it looks like uh, it it is yellow uh, sorry blue in color co2 it is another it is gray in color and uh, the different kinds of gas cylinder pin index systems so for oxygen it is 2 comma 5 for nitrous oxides it's 3 comma 5 for cyclopropane it's 3 comma 6 for air it is 1 comma 5 it for nitrogen is 1 and 4 and for nitrous plus oxygen that is nitrous oxide it is 7 this one was asked again oxygen was asked sorry nitrous oxide is 3 5 and nitrous plus oxygen is 7 anesthesia machine components another uh, big behemoth of uh, of an image which is most most likely not asked in the exam but you should know where everything is for example uh, the co2 absorbent canister then again um, the ventilator control panel where it is where is the vaporizer where is the flush button where is the auxiliary flow control all of these parts of an anesthesia machine you should know so that's it for your anesthesia you must know images for fmg exam thank you so much